What's up everyone, it's me Cassie, and today I am actually auditioning for the less than famous panel for VidCon. So, it said this video has to be less than four minutes, and that I have to answer only one to three of the questions that they put on the thing right here, on the submittable. We use that for the magazine at school. I decided I'm gonna try to answer every single one of these in less than four minutes, so you know, above and beyond. So with that all being said, let's get started. The first question is, what does success on YouTube mean to you? Success means having fun, doing what you love. It just means that you are happy with what you're doing. And I feel like I'm successful on my YouTube because I love what I do. I love talking to a camera. I love having internet friends that share the same passion as me and make videos. The next question is, how do you find friends, community, and purpose on YouTube? So how I find a lot of my friends on YouTube is actually through Awesomeness TV, which I'm partnered with, which is really cool because there's a lot of creators that I can talk to and relate to and collab with. The community setting in Seattle, it's not huge, but it's big enough to where I'm comfortable. I have a good group of friends who are YouTubers here in Seattle and we all get together from time to time and hang out and honestly it's really cool to have that like bond with people. How do you handle how large the platform has gotten? Honestly, I created my channel in 2009, which is why my username URL thing is what it is. Honestly, I have not seen that much of a change. There are still a lot of people who are huge on YouTube, there are a lot of people who are small on YouTube. I just feel like I have become more aware of how big the community is here on YouTube. How do you stick out in a sea of creators? Honestly, I know a lot of people are gonna say, because I'm unique, because I'm awesome, because my makeup is great, because I suck to dick on camera. I don't know why I stick out. Yes, I'm growing fast, but you kind of just have to keep up with the flow and what people like and pretty much just go from there. It's hard to stick out because there are so many people here on YouTube who are trying to stick out. So you kind of just have to be yourself, figure out what you like as a creator and go from there. What are some of the privileges of being a smaller creator? I feel like the biggest privilege of being a small creator is the amount of people you meet. And I don't mean like your supporters or anything, but I mean like other creators who are pretty much in the same position as you. And you can help each other grow and just become friends while doing it. I know this is not part of the questions in there, but I honestly feel like I would be a great addition to the Less Than Famous panel. One, because you always want another pretty face on your panel. That sounded really conceited, but I feel like I can bring a lot to the table. How fun while being on a panel with other people, get to know everyone, not like personally, but get to know everyone's like goals and what they want to achieve while at VidCon. I feel like it would be such an amazing opportunity. I have dreamed about being on this panel for two years, and if this would actually happen, honestly, that would be so amazing. It would be a dream come true. So I hope you pick me. If not, it's totally cool. Still gonna go to VidCon, still gonna meet everyone, but I hope you pick me. I'm sassy, awkward, and kinda cute. So. That's it. Hope you like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Send it to VidCon. And I'm gonna go. <laughs> Bye.